Hello everyone. My name is uh Oh. Okay. My name is Three-Eyed Mutant Girl. This is my first uh my first let's play. Uh You guys can call me DJ Three Eyes though cuz I know that's easier. And that's with a 3 and not with a not the full of okay whatever today we're going to play digital a love story and i hope you guys enjoy it's kind of strange but i think it's very nice i've played some of it before never finished it but it's gonna be fun so let's go ahead and run what is my screen name three eyes what sorry what's your real name don't worry that information won't be shared with anyone else cecilia and then we're going to put in my fake name, Christosis. Star is coming out. Very nice. It's very nice. Okay. Using. Okay, so if you can't really tell, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not an expert in. Uh, I'm not an expert in. Uh, hold on, let me mess with the volume levels. Okay, there. That should be good. Alright, so anyway, this game takes place in the 80s. And you basically... This is the whole game. You play on a on a dial-up computer. Dial-up modem. I think that's very cool. Welcome to your new AMIE system. Open. <coughs> Congratulations! You've got your brand new AMIE workbench up and running. Here are a few things you might need to know to get started. To close a window, click the square icon in the top left corner, right here. <laughs> Download applications. Downloaded applications appear on your desktop. Click their icons to open them. To save your system state or load a previous one, just click the disk icon at the top of the screen. To adjust the volume, display mode, change personal information, or shut down your computer, click the pinwheel icon at the top of the screen. So this one right here. We hope you enjoy your new computers. AMIE Microsystems 1988. So that kind of gives you. So, yeah. Let's just practice saving. New save file. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we can do windowed or full screen. I'm doing windowed because I'm using a new uh, game recorder. And I don't want to mess with anything. Let's get the volume a little lower. And I think we're good. Toggle scan lines. You can turn off the scan lines, but I think it's very cool to have them on. I just think it kind of helps get me into more of the atmosphere. Okay, anyway, enough about that. Using your new modem, Mr. Wong. Hey, Cecilia. So you have your computer set up. I thought for Mr. Costosis's kid, I'd, th I'd throw in a little extra something. Here, there's a dialer for your modem attached to this message. If you plug it into the phone line, you can use it to dial BBSs. Just make sure you not to run up your dad's phone bill with long distance calls, okay? Here's a local BBS I recommend looking at. 698-5519. Wanna go ahead and grab a pencil and let's write this down. So it's 698-5519. Enjoy George Wong of Wong Computers. Let's go ahead and download the dialer. And then that's how you close the messages. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the dialer. And let's go ahead and call the one. 698-5519. Sorry if that's a little high pitched for you. I'll check it out in the recording just to make sure that it's not too high pitched. Okay. Okay, local Lake City local. Uh, 24 hours a day, two lines, logo by Devi Zero. So, log in. Please enter a new your password or type new for a new account. New. Please enter what you'd like the password to be. Uh, let's go with DJ. I okay, hold on. Let me think. Mm. Miracles. Okay, cool. Messages. Let's see. The F BBS FAQ. What is BBS? Why, that's an awfully dumb question. In case you couldn't tell, you're on one right now. Silly goose. 
A BBS is short for Bulletin Board System, where people come together online to post messages, share software, download text files, hold debates, and more. Cool. That's, I don't know how you'd reply to that, so let's go ahead and close that. First poem, by Amelia. You wrote me a love letter promising that every word is true, but I'm confused by the signature, so remind me, who are you? Is it any good? It's the first time I've ever written a poem before, so be brutally honest, please. I'd really like to understand poetry better. Let's reply to that. That could be interesting. Computer viruses. The first computer virus appeared on ARP, R A ARPANET back in the 70s. Called the Creeper, it traveled across every open system on the network. It could connect to, sp it could connect to, spawn a copy of itself, and, or, hold on, let me try again. Uh, it traveled across every open system on the network. It could connect. To Fuck. Okay. It traveled across every open system on the network it could it could connect to, spawned a copy of itself, and dumped the phrase "I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can" to the screen. Eventually, a program called the Reaper was developed to clear the infection. It worked in the exact same way, spreading like a virus across every available system on the network, self-replicated, and deleted the Creeper wherever it could be found. Cool. Now we know. Maybe we should reply for more info. And um, let's download this one. You can download messages and stuff. Uh, you can reply. Okay, and then we go to home. Ooh, and I have a private message. Let's see. Oh. Okay, hold on. Send PM. Okay, send message to Amelia. Send message to Blue Sky. And send message to Orpheo. Home. Your private message is downloaded. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. You're now disconnected. Okay, we have to go here. Sorry, that's that's my bad. Computer viruses. No, not at all. ARPANET's big, basically a big government computer network, also called the internet. Well, it used to be in mi to be military anyway, and it was back in the 70s. Now the military has a separate network, MILNET, and the ARPANET net er, slash internet is just government researchers and com college computers. Right now it's just a couple hundred nodes, and with maybe a few thousand people accessing it in total, but it's growing way faster than most give it credit for. Especially now it's opening to commerce by, especially now it's open to commerce especially now it's opening to commerce. By 1998, there will probably be thousands of computers on it. Pretty, it's pretty neat stuff, really. Reply. Let's take a look at the system. Lake City Local Registration. Thanks for registering on Lake City lo Local. Three eyes, your password is miracles. Cool. Okay, let's take a look. I do suppose you're right. Thanks, I appreciate your directness. I'll have to keep that in mind for my next attempt. To tell you the truth, I'm really glad you replied. Nobody else really had anything worthwhile to say. Just some compliments that were obviously false and asking if I really was a girl. Why would anyone ask a question like that? But you seem nice, Three Eyes, and much better than that. Thank you. I'm gonna reply, because she is really nice and I really like her. Okay, open history. It's funny that you ask. I actually am interested in putting together an open history of online computers you starting from the 70s up to today. Right now, I have bits and pieces of it completed, but unfortunately, it's not all co collected in one place at the moment. Publication? It is certainly a possibility. Reply. Okay. Let's go back to the dialer and dial in 698-5519. Sorry if that's really loud, I'll work on it. Okay, let's log in. Uh, oops. Ooh, private, new private messages. Okay, let's take a look. I remember there was something really funny here, uh, but it hasn't popped up yet. Computer viruses, number two. <coughs> viruses don't didn't really hit the big time until they left the networks, and in 1981, a virus infecting floppy disk was released into the wild, slowly letting itself be passed around disk by disk. Now, anyone with an Apple II can... With an Apple... Mm, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in computers. Now, anyone could, with an Apple could be a target. But it wasn't until last year, in late 1987, that a virus that actually destroyed data was discovered on a closed network. That 
is that is it only a matter of time before destructive viruses spread to the general public? Only time can tell, but this scary prospect is all too possible. You fly a lack of downloads. Well, Lake City Local isn't really about the wares or hacking or any other illegal stuff. You know, the giz the Sysop here doesn't really want to get himself arrested or anything. You could always check out the Matrix at hold on two two zero seven six eight three. That's where I always go anyway. Let's reply to this guy. This guy could be interesting. The BBS FAQ number two. How many people are on a BBS? Well, th that varies depending on which they're on. It can be anywhere from dozens to over a hundred users. Some will only allow one person to dial in at a single time. Others have as many as ten people phone lines. Mmm, I'm out of it. Letting many people stay online at once. Some are even further connected to bigger networks like FidoNet or the internet, connecting thousands of BBSs together all across the entire world. I will reply and that will be the end of this first episode because my timer says that I'm kind of out of time. So I w if you like this video go ahead and like and stuff and if you didn't then don't do anything or give me constructive criticism, you know, whatever. This is my first time let's playing so uh, I was you can see but I was flailing my arms. Okay, so anyway, I'll go ahead and see you later. Have a nice day.